Hello? I am going to do a six minute speed paint. And what I'm going to do is to start doing these speed paints pretty frequently and share them with you. Now, am I going to do them daily? I'm not sure. I am wondering if I want to do these things kind of like a, I'm curious if I want to do like a weekly stream or a, a every other day stream. I'm still deciding, but today I felt like doing a little bit of a speed paint and showing you guys kind of what it looks like to do a, a bit of like a character design in around six minutes. I'm saying six minutes because I want to talk while I'll do it. Normally I would not talk. Um, so I got my phone, six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start it. There you go. Now, um, let me put some sound on there. Okay. And I'm going to be looking at my other screen too, to just be sure that I can actually see that you guys can see what I see. Cause I'm going to stay within a certain resolution. So that way we have something worth looking at. Now, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do, uh, and this is something I'm going to talk about in a whole other video. I've already put out two videos about kind of one about me coming back and another video about, you know, just kind of like my journey out into Central America. And one of the things that I want to do next is talk about kind of my health. Uh, I've been going through a lot of health challenges in the last several years, and I kind of want to do a whole video about it. But part of that is to just have a little bit more healthier relationship with my time, my art, you know, personal relationships and such like this. Uh, I've been doing something that I've been really enjoying, which is just drawing with my left hand ever since my latest injury and stuff like this. And just studying like old school stuff, like just drawing things I don't normally draw and just being really bad at it. Like, um, actually I'm timed right now, but I was going to show you some sketches I've been drawing with my left hand and it's been very enjoyable and I would love to kind of continue that journey. And what I want to do is begin to also do something that involves the community. Uh, right now I'm in the midst of like, you know, finding uh, a good work, uh, life balance. Oops. I'm still, I got still like bandages on my, Oh, you guys can't see. I still got bandages on my fingers. So my hands are still kind of stiff and it does hurt a little bit and not in my fingers. Ironically, if it hurts in my wrist, cause I'm like, my fingers aren't moving that much. So I'm using more wrist than I'm normally used to. But anyway, um, so I'm, you know, trying to get in a rhythm where maybe I can find more time just in general with both work, um, school, like basically teaching, um, getting back to do, doing tutorials series again. I used to do tons of tutorials. I got a lot of new information over the many years I've been working. I've gathered a whole plethora of new skills that I've just as a proxy of working more. Uh, I've got about under three minutes um, that I would love to share with you guys. And I think you guys would like to know more about that. So. Uh, I just need to get better with my time and more, most importantly, health. And again, I think everybody in the community that's engaged in my, in my, uh, you know, community has been nothing but supportive and it's been wonderful always and forever. And I want to start to get better about reaching out. I have, I still have several projects that I'm kind of involved in, but I've been doing a, a bit of elimination diet of the sorts, but I'll, like I said, I don't want to get too detailed oriented. Uh, let's, let's play around here. Let's do, let's play around with some other brushes here. But what I've come to, you know, 
really appreciate with all this rest and all this extra time is just this this opportunity to really enjoy you know and reflect on what i care about the most and a lot of what i care about and i enjoy is just you know family time friend time and making cool art and i've been doing a lot of art making and i've been thinking about the kinds of artwork that i would like to make and I would like to share all that stuff with you guys. So I think doing cool little speed paints will be another opportunity for me to just kind of fill you in with my thoughts, my everyday thoughts, kind of like a little bit of psychology, psychotherapy for myself. And also give you guys an opportunity to see me do some cool paints. And like I said, I'll be doing tutorials and stuff and really getting into how and what you can do to, to get into the skills of what it takes to do something like this. But really what it comes down to is I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit more self-reflective and trying to find ways to do both the, you know, connect with my audience, share content, and be helpful to myself all at the same time. It takes balance. Um, but as many of you guys know, and people who followed me for many years, I always try to be really pragmatic with my workflow. And then applying that same strategy to my lifestyle. <laughs> and, you know, this is the first time I'm really making a practical attempt at it. Uh, I've focused too much on my career. I've got 10 seconds. Better put a bow on this. Let's put something on the ground at least. Yeah. So this is my six minute. Oops six minute paint oh, painting demo or speed paint let's uh let's let's not just end it there let's add some details just to call it done six minutes and a couple seconds 10 15 seconds um but yeah just thought i'd do a little bit of speed painting share with you guys and like i said i i'm not inclined on figuring out specifically what I'm going to be posting on my YouTube channel. I'm just making content posting. Um, I'm doing this as a way to find balance. Uh, I think this is lo-fi. Um, this is not that hard for me to just do this really quick video. I'm not going to even probably edit it. I'm just going to, once I'm done with this video, I'm just going to upload it, probably tag it, with some stuff, um, and start to kind of contemplate some other strategies of like doing streams again uh live streams maybe um do something like a study hall or study with type of thing because i i've done it in the past but i i never stuck with it because i've always still had a lot of work that i had to get done and i don't want to commit to that any i don't want to commit to anything anymore i just want to just kind of just do stuff and if i just happen to be there i happen to be there and if i'm not I'm not, but what I like to do is to, to just kind of create a system and a flow of stuff that I can do, oh. uh, stuff that I can do. That's not too aggressive. That's not like, okay, I can do these little speed paints and I can post them online. Mm, it's not a big deal, you know, and people can appreciate them. And it's, it's, it's also a great way to keep in touch with y'all. That's not a, like a, like a seven month hiatus or something like that. We could be something that's a little bit more intimate and I could be just like a little t uh, painting demo, maybe like a fun story, but that's something that I think is really cool um, and simple. Uh, I follow a lot of YouTubers online and I've noticed that some of them do something like this and I like that. I like that they just sometimes they just post just like a five minute video and there's nothing to it or they're not trying to say anything. They're just posting for the sake of posting. Um, this is one guy that I follow that he does it a lot. He just talks and I just listen and it's nice. And I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe some of you guys would enjoy this. But what I get, what I think would, this will do for me is allow me to, you know, uh, keep the practice because I do want to practice my painting skills pretty frequently because right now I'm, I'm practicing a lot of drawing. I'm doing a lot of drawing. I don't normally draw. Uh, I used to draw a lot when I was studying uh, in the very beginning of my career, I used to study a lot, 
uh, through drawing. And then I realized I needed to get better at painting. So then I stopped drawing, just painted all the time. And then I stopped drawing almost entirely for many years. Now I've gotten back to drawing the last two or three years, but here and there I still do painting and I'll do 3D and professional work. But in the last several months, I've been really getting back into drawing. I'm sure some of you guys have been noticing. And I really want to get good, like super good at drawing, like uh, as good as some of my favorite artists that I admire who draw like almost exclusively. But that takes time, like many things that I teach. Getting good at anything takes just tons of time. And so uh, I think doing these little one hour to 30 minutes or five minute things every day uh, and putting it out there is a great way to keep myself accountable. And I put it out there. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this little video, put it out there. So that way um, it can help the community. It'll allow me to, you know, sharpen a blade that I'm already, that I have pretty sharp. And then on the, on the, background I can just draw and be drawing and drawing and feeling that I am doing something that is fulfilling a need that I want you know and then also uh perpetuating and moving forward a, a career that I've already established right so it's kind of working in both fa uh, factors you know because I do appreciate the the fans and the community that I've already you know uh garnered and so this something like this is something that I, I want to kind of do for myself and for the people that already follow me. Yeah. I think it's just nice. I think it's a good balance. Like this doesn't take long. I think this is already like 11 to 12 minutes in. So it's really, that's easy. I, I can do 12, 15 minutes videos uh, with like six minute little speed paints, practicing my painting skills. I make a couple of new brushes, just do them. Uh, I'll read the comments. If you guys have any suggestions of what you want me to paint in the next six minutes speed paint, I'll, I'll take that into consideration and I'll do that in the next video. Um, but like I said, maybe I'll do like a live stream tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, I'm not going to schedule anything. I'm not going to be like, Hey, you know, Hey guys, like look at this. none of that. I'm just going to show up. And if you just happen to be there, great. If not, you'll just watch the pre-recorded session. Okay. Um, no, low stress for me, you know? But at least you guys will get some content at the same time. So hope you guys understand. Um, and another thing I wanted to say, actually, there's something that I want to also do. Um, I want to begin to attach like a lot of these videos and stuff to helping out stuff. I, I actually, the last video I did, I put a link into some charities uh, specifically for the people who were involved in the latest, latest mass shooting. Um, so on my website, I actually started putting a charity link um, that I, uh, that was connected to a lot of the victims of that shooting. And I think something really cool about YouTube and a lot of YouTubers that I saw that they would always do these like YouTube events. So I think from now on, I'm just going to say at the end of these videos that if you just go to my website, there will be a link to a charity, um, of some sort on my website. If you go to just robotpencil.net. And there'll be like a tab that says charity, one that's connected to a, uh, a group out here where I live in Central America, where they take care of stray animals. Um, I've actually rescued one of the animals out here. Um, the animal that we got out in the back. I'll, I'll, I think you guys saw it in the, the second video. It's the, the kind of the mutt, the brown and tan dog. Uh, her name is Poofy. And our two cats are also rescues. And... They do a really good job of saving a lot of the stray animals. There's a lot of stray animals out here. And so uh, I've put a link in the on my website and I'll put a link in the description. And I'll just do that from now on. And if you guys ever feel charitable, they just know that that's just the case. I'm gonna try to put a link to some sort of charity uh, forever and always if I can remember. Um, if not, just go to my website and there should be stuff there that I think are cool. And as I find more and more stuff that's out here that are local, that I know that is good, that I see with my own eyes should use extra help and funding and using my platform as a tool to help some of the people out here, uh, know that it is something that I'm very, uh, connected to. And I can see for myself that it is doing, uh, good, but that's, that's a sidebar. The, the main goal of what I'm trying to do here is just stay connected. Um, but I thought, hey, why not, you know, try to do something positive at the same time? Anyway, 
I'm gonna get out of here. I actually got some other stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 15 minutes for the money. Peace, y'all.